Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's... Anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about Thomas him Zane. to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, Zane. so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Okay. Zane, a writer that's never written anything. It's not me in a prior life or a dream or something. Um, out of curiosity. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. So it's not like a boat you had here and it on, fell mister. over. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Yeah, okay. It it just dropped out of the sky. You seem strangely calm. Does this sort of thing happen a lot in America? <sighs> okay. Tornadoes. Fair enough. Um, why is her trailer? It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. So wait a minute. He was in love with a woman who drowned in the lake, and... Okay. Am I... Am I reliving his experience? Me and my wife, are we reliving the tragedy that they went through? Am I them? OK. 
Okay. Dude, these are bins. Okay, they're very nice bins. Thank you for showing them to us. It would be rude to tell him to hurry up, wouldn't it, really, all things considered. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Pal? That's not really very polite. Okay. Talk to Rose. And is, um... Oh, well, there's coffee inside. That's, that's, that's good. Oh, God, it's going to be creepy old lady time. Welcome to, to, oh, dear, Mr. Wake. I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Um... I wouldn't be drinking hey, the coffee this now. this is really good. Really? Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Did I drink the coffee Barry. too? Did I drink the coffee too? What? Yes, I did. What? You've been drugged. Next stupid question. Is she gonna pour that on my head? No, please don't. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. Okay. You must turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. Ah! Go. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Oh, okay. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing Jagger. faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Okay. Barry? Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. I still quiet. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Oh God. What can I get you today? Coffee? I, I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Yeah, we got this Milk whole I love my job thing there. going on. Can like I pick him up? No, I'm. Specials. I just gotta leave him here. A nice day. Come that soon. doesn't sound. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Why would I need? Why would I need a gun and a flashlight to get Barry into a car? Randolph Mr. calls. Randolph like Rose, that little smile she had, how she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer, but those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble, and they'd been in there for hours, 
way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh god, right. So Mr. Randolph has phoned the police station. Mr. Randolph has phoned the police station. He's one of the neighbours. We have a nosy neighbour. Awesome. Stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Calmer, you're on KBF FM. Hey, Pat, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, oh, God. let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, and there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You Walt, hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? How can I be sure? Okay. Creepy music. Okay, the car was over. I see more coffee. Can I steal the coffee? I have absolutely no idea why I'm doing that. Okay. Oh, it was you that phoned the sheriff, right? It was. It was you that phoned the sheriff. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, don't shoot me, but what about the other guy? And why am I running? Why am I running? What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. Yeah, that, that, there's that too. You could have hit him. Why am I running? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. I'm an idiot. I really am. How the hell? Okay, escape the police. Escape the police. Don't let him get away. Get, let him get away. Okay. So for some reason, I don't want to get captured. Oh, because I've got to finish the story and they won't let me finish the story. Okay. Under the creepy bridge. Just get under it before they look down and see me. There. No! There it goes. God damn it. I need more stamina. For someone who... Okay, man. Stay out of the light then. Stay out of the light. No, that... That's gotta be the... Oh! Damn. Oh, stamina. Run! Run! I can't! I've got no stamina! Okay, I've got to avoid the lights. I've got to avoid the lights. And then run. Run between. 
There's light there. Run. Okay. Stay out of the light. That's that's a first, isn't it? Um. Oh. Can I? Can I get up this way? I can. I can't believe I'm heading into the fog-filled forest, away from the lights. No, don't head me off. He don't head me off. The dark present sleeps. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Okay, what? So, so, whoa, 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 whoa. This is some sort of darkness that requires artists to spread its glory. It's a sort of evil muse. But what does it get out of it? Or does it just want to be heard? Because if it just wants to be heard, surely that's not that bad a thing? Oh, anyway. Um. I'm. I have no gun and I have no torch. And I don't. Okay. Oh! What the f Oh, Jesus, that's a. There's a page over there. Escape the police. There's, but there's a page. I can see it. I can see it. I want the page. I want to know what's going on. They're my only clues. Rose visited by the dark Rose presence, didn't yeah. Know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The somehow. Her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Okay. Right. I know this is going to sound a little vicious, but whoever was driving that car, did they have a gun? Where the hell are they? Okay. Well, light, good or bad now? It means the police can see me, but it also means... Creepy dudes can't attack me. Well, I have no torch and no gun, but I can't stay in the light. Okay, they're down there. All right. The police. The police are down there. That makes me want to stay up. Oh God, no, 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 not the funny. No. Okay. They saw me. This. Okay. What the? F Stay in the. Oh Jesus. Is something? Something getting them? I'm trying to stay in the dark here. Okay. Let's get across the bridge. Oh God. Now I want light. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. And they're going to think I did this. Although, I'm not even totally sure that's not true. I mean, the darkness is in me, isn't it? Oh god, where it where's the helicopter? Okay. You on the ground. Oh no, that wasn't good enough cover. That wasn't enough cover. Oh god, no. 
Oh. Uh, something's coming. Oh god. Crows. Crow. The crows are protecting me. Is it the old woman? Is it the old woman? She's directing them. Oh, we got crows. We got crows incoming. I don't know if they're going to go for me next or if they're actually protecting me. I, I feel like they're protecting me now. Oh God, I, I wasn't looking for pages. Anything around? No. I might have missed something. Toggle zoom. All right, that's the. What do they call gas station? Petrol station for me. Oh, I can keep. All right, now. Anything else? Oh, coffee. Brilliant. And. Okay, so they've got Barry and Rose. All right, what what is this going to give me? I could okay, see the we... lights at the radio station in the distance. Yeah, head towards the radio tower. Is that what it is? What's that? Oh no, there's the radio station. Is that where I gotta go? Okay. Although step one, escape police. At the moment things seem relatively... Did I hear harsh breathing? Probably, can't see anything else. Well, let me guess. Oh no, I can go back. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Alright. I'm judging that by... Very little information, aren't I? What I've heard on the radio... And what... Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. All right. Well, that makes me want to actually talk to him then. If, if the darkness doesn't want me to talk to him, that's... Maybe I should have taken him up on his offer and... Oh, hello. There was no power to the searchlight. Oh, I used the searchlight to flood the gate. Got it. Got it. side. Oh, before we do that, before we activate the gate, let's just have a quick look around the back. Nothing. Over there. Still want pages. Okay, so this was... Alright. Let's not 
stand on the wire in those places. Okay. Use. Control it. And then boost. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. What? Kick. Alright. I will kick it. That didn't look like the world's greatest. Okay! Oh! Oh, I've already moved it to point in the right place. Okay, that's that's good. I think. Yeah. Sounds like the generator didn't last long anyway. What can I see down there? It doesn't sound like the police are still looking for me, but you never know. Lights. Okay. We have to get some... Is that my torch? Oh, nice, 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 nice. I think. Anything else? You know, I haven't seen for a while. Little yellow arrows. Anything else? A gun? A shotgun? You know? Flamethrower? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do I have to focus? Because I don't really want to use the batteries. Doesn't look like I need to. Okay. Batteries actually regenerate anyway, I think. <clears throat> if I leave them, don't they? Yeah, there they go. It took me um, a to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Flashbangs. Okay. Flashbangs. Press. Okay. Do I need to do it now? It seems to want me to do it now. Don't look. Okay, I've done it. Are you happy? Okay. Weird. That message was annoying me. So. I have flashbang grenades. And a torch. All right, so they're like one-shot grenades. I like it. But I need to get a... Oh, I need to get as many of them as possible in one go. So... Okay, that should have killed. No, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. But you know what? We got light here. We got light, we got light. Oh god, no, what? I'm in the light, I'm in the light, I'm in the light. So I'd like to save some of these flashbangs. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milk Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milk? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. 
Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay. So he's heard the gunshots from where he is. Which makes sense. There. Uh -huh. Okay. That, really? That. It's gonna take another one? Okay, they have to be close. They have to be close. Well, that's two down. Can I get up there? No. Alright. They're coming again. I got five more. Five more. Okay. Come on. Where's your friends? Where's your friends? There you go. There you go, friends. There's your friends. Oh, God. I didn't... Didn't dodge in time. All right. At least I got three of them with one flashbang. What, what the hell? I thought there was an arrow for a second. Oh, God. Is that police? Is that police? I see red. Oh, maybe they've got a gun. I'm assuming it's... Okay. Did that get them all? No. That got him, I think. Pick up flashbangs. Flashbangs. Keep... Yeah, alright. We, we don't have to worry too much. I think we're going to get... As long as there are police cars... There's a police car over there, I think. Alright, run, 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 run. It's a police car. Or, or it's the radio station, one or the other. Here we go. Oh, I'm dodging. I'm actually trying to dodge. I was trying to throw the thing and then dodge. Are they still coming? No? Low on health. Low on health. Need to get into the light. Don't want to use my stamina yet. Where are they? Okay. There's one. Nope. Okay, that's two. I'm down to two. I've only got two left. I've only got two left. But I've reached the radio station. And it's a little too quiet.